Hey everybody, welcome to episode number two of my Let's Play Stardew Valley series. Again, my name is Cami, and I am currently recording this to YouTube, but if you guys have followed me before on my Twitch channel, I have tried streaming this before, but um, ran into some trouble. So if you want, you can check out an introduction video that I made for the series in my video description below. It'll give you an overview of who I am and what the series is about and um, all the basic information that you'd probably want to know. Anyways, yesterday we uh, leveled up, so we completed our first day of the pea soup farm. Yay! Um, we got level one foraging, plus one axe proficiency, and trees will sometimes drop seeds. That's awesome for us. A new crafting recipe, which is for wild seeds, and another new crafting recipe for field snacks, which we're really going to need... Um, as we continue on. Now, we forged a bunch of stuff yesterday. It looks like we made a total of 430 gold. Not bad. Not great. But, you know, we had a really neutral fortune... Um, a neutral fortune stat for the day. So, I'm going to check the weather. And it looks like uh, it's going to rain tomorrow, which is awesome. Uh, that just means we won't need to water any plants. Unfortunately, tomorrow is Wednesday and the um, general store will be closed. So it's not like we're going to be able to buy any seeds tomorrow. So we should buy whatever we can tonight. And oh, I accidentally just clicked that again. Uh, and we want to check our fortune just to see how we're going to be doing. Oh, spirits are happy today. So hopefully that means we get... Um, we get some extra drops when we're foraging, maybe. Oh, wow, we got some mail. It says, hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Okay, great. So if you watched the episode yesterday, you would have known that we are missing one more person to complete our quest for introductions. So we're at 27 out of 28 people greeted. Like I said before, the wizard doesn't count. Um, and now we just have this quest to go meet that last person. But before we do anything, I'm going to go ahead and water my plants. Just because we, ne we need to make sure that our plants are watered. Since that's what this whole game is about. I just want to make sure that we get every little plant, every little seedling here. Okay. And like I said before, I usually like to travel around with a hoe um, just so I can dig up things or knock things out of my path if they're in the way. And I usually go the back way to check for any items that we can forage, but I'm going to check here. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I did. Look at that. There are three daffodils and a dandelion. This is good. The spirits were happy today. I don't know. I actually don't know if there's any relation with the spirits being happy and whether or not the items get generated. It seems like there is, but I'm not sure. You can let me know in the comments if that's the case. I would love to know if it matters. But, um, oh, I almost ran up to the north to check things. Oh, and look, the bulletin board. So we didn't get to look at this yesterday because I forgot. But you can see everybody's birthdays and any special events happening in Pelican Town as well as a, um, a help wanted ad. So every day there's usually a quest that you can pick here and it looks like this one is from Haley. It says, four girls only. Psst, I need amethyst. You know what it's for. Keep it secret, okay? She's going to give me 300 gold, but I can't get an amethyst. So I'm going to go ahead and not accept this quest. Even though I don't believe there is a penalty for not accepting quests. I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at look who it is. Look who it is. Um, hi Shane. What do you want? Go away. That's so cute. I don't know why I like that he's so grumpy. I think it's adorable. Okay, we're at the beach now and we're watching this cutscene. Look at this drunk sailor guy. Oh, we're kind of matching. He's a red top and boots and jeans. Ahoy there, miss. 
Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Yay! You guys, we did it! <laughs> you received a bamboo pole. Okay. Oh, there's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Okay. Let me go now. Oh, okay. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. Great. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Gross. Okay, so the goals for today. I usually like to spend the second day uh, chopping down some wood to get 300 pieces. That way we can build a bridge to the tidal pools, which is to the right here. So you see that question mark? Um, you need 300 pieces of wood and you can build a bridge. And, oh, let's go check. Um, okay, how to win friends. We got another quest. So I'm going to run up to the general store real quick and we're going to buy some parsnip seeds. If we can get away with buying 18, I will be happy. Um, let's try, let's do it. I can probably do quick math in my head, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to do it one at a time. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're good. All right, perfect. We have enough parsnip seeds to fill out our crop area and a little bit left over to buy any anything else. So I'm going to run back to my farm. Let's go the long... Oh, no, let's not go the long way. Um, that doesn't sound like a good idea. We are on a schedule here. So we're going to chop down as many trees as we can. We don't need to do it right away, but we do need to plant these crops and I'm going to go ahead and dump these in there. And we're going to get out the watering can. And I usually like getting anything farm slash crop related out of the way. Just because I don't know. I feel like that always should take first priority. And the next thing we're going to do is... Uh, do a quick lap around the lake to see if there's anything that we can forage as well as any spring onions because we're gonna need we're definitely gonna need some spring onions for our energy um, our energy meter now spring onions the wild ones that grow by the sewer you can sell for like eight gold or something really cheap even like if it was a gold star I think max it's like 15 gold or something um, so they're not really worth selling. I think it's worth it for me to save them and use them to um, regain my energy. All right, so I'm going to take my sickle and we're going to do a quick clearing of some of these bushes here. Just make sure that we have a straight shot to the south entrance or exit, I guess, depending on where, what you're doing to the um to the farm and the lake so i'm just gonna clear some of these brushes just make sure we have enough room and we're gonna do the lap that i usually like to do starting from the back here and we're gonna head south if we happen to see a bubbling water um we're gonna go fish because um Fish is also a good source of monies. And there is nothing here that I can see. Oh, there we go. A dandelion. I'm going to chop that down. It's a good thing we brought the sickle. And then we cross this little bridge here. To the onion patch. And let's see. I went the wrong way. I just realized. Sorry, guys. I was too distracted. There we go. And we have some onions. Nothing amazing. But this will be good for now. And then I'm going to run back to the main village. And we're going to buy a loaf of bread. And that loaf of bread is going to... Oh, 
we have someone we can talk to. Let's go ahead and see what she's up to. Leah says, hello, neighbor. We both live outside of town. Does that mean something? Hmm. I don't know. She gets really philosophical. I don't know what to say to that. All right. Back to the main village. So, I don't see anything worth picking up, which is a bummer, but that's all right. We're going to say hi to Gus. What up, Gus? How goes? Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. All right. Um, I would like to buy a loaf of bread, please. This is going to come in very handy. So, we have some... We have a loaf of fresh baked bread and some spring onions. That'll make a good lunch slash snack slash dinner. Um, I love onions, but I don't know if I can eat them raw. But I'm going to imagine that these are like really mild and sweet tasting. Okay, so we're going to dump all the stuff that we don't need right now. I'm going to hold on to the food and the sickle just to make it easier to get around things. And we're going to start chopping. So since we got that field, um, the granola bar, I forgot what it was called, the field bar, um, we have to make sure that we're chopping down one of each tree. So we need a pine cone tree, a maple tree, and an uh, acorn tree. And they will drop seeds, and we can use those seeds to make the um, field stack. That's what it's called. So I'm going to make sure that I chop down the trees that are in my way. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and chop the stumps, though, because it's... um. I need to conserve my energy, so the way that I like to do this is I'll chop down just the tops because those are the the um, those are the things that drop the seeds. And as I go along, if I can collect one of each seed, I can make a bar and I can eat it, and that's plenty of energy to keep going and chop stuff down. So that's my strategy for getting 300 lumber. lumber. Um, it doesn't work all the time. Um, I think because our luck for today is good, we might be okay with getting um, the, the um, seeds that we need. But um, the couple times that I've tried to do this, I wasn't that fortunate. But I wasn't really paying attention to whether or not my luck had affected that. But right now, I think we had good luck for today. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this down. Yep, and we got a bunch of pine cones, so we already can make two field snacks. And if you can see my energy meter here, it's pretty low. Um, this is a perfect time to have a snack, so I'm going to eat one of my field snacks. I'm going to munch on that granola bar, and we have a bunch more energy to keep going. Now, uh, I have a pine cone and an acorn, so I'm going to chop down this maple tree and uh, continue this cycle so I make sure that I fill out um, what I need for the field snack. Now, I didn't get anything on that drop, which is, which is fine. Um, at least I'm getting wood. Usually, I'll get enough, maybe like 200... 250 on the first day and then I just have to chop a few more trees down the next day which is fine also um, we got enough for another field snack so I'm going to go ahead and generate that or craft that sorry and uh, the way you can tell which oh man I'm getting exhausted let's eat some of these snacks actually let's eat both of them that should last us there we go um, the way that you can tell which tree is what at least this is how I can tell the acorns are small and so uh the small leaves are the acorns and the big leaves are the maple tree because maple has those five points to the leaf and you can tell when the leaves are falling that they look a little bit pointy um that's how i differentiate the two and then obviously the pine cone tree is triangle shaped so this one obviously you can tell what it is it's the difference between the other two trees that used to confuse me a lot but once I started drilling it into my head that the 
maple tree is the one with the big leaves, and the acorn tree is the one with the small leaves because acorns are small. That's, that's how I did that. All right, so let's see. Let's chop down. Let's hopefully get... Oh, man. We didn't get another pine cone. What the heck? Oh, here we go. All right, come on. Come on. Come to mama, pine cone. We Oh, man, some of our stuff fell into the water. See, I should have known that that was going to happen. Um, we're going to go ahead and eat another field snack. Great. And let's see. Um, let's do uh, this acorn tree. Oh, wow, it just fell. Perfect. And if we can get more acorns, that would be awesome. And we didn't. All right, maple tree... We're already at 165, so we're doing pretty good, and we still have some food. So I'm not worried about reaching 300 today. I think we can do it. And since we got all of our farm chores out of the way, I am confident that we can burn the midnight oil and get to 250, if not 300. All right, so we don't have any seeds, so it doesn't matter what tree that I cut down. Hopefully we get some acorns here. And we did, we got two. And now we need a maple tree. So there's one right here. Oh, look at all the butterflies that came out of the tree. Sorry, butterflies. I promise I will plant some flowers for you. We need pollinators, you know. Uh oh. Ugh, we're a little exhausted. That's okay. A little behind on the seed count. This is why I bought that loaf of bread. So we're going to have some bread for dinner and a couple of onions. So we had onions and breads and nuts for a healthy, <laughs> healthy vegan <laughs> um, farm meal, I guess. <laughs> Okay, let's hope we get a maple leaf, or sorry, maple seed, and we didn't. Um, can't find, oh, there's another one here. I don't want to push it too much because I want a full energy bar tomorrow because tomorrow will be the third and it's going to be raining so we can start the day foraging and fishing. Wow, we are not that lucky right now. What is going on? Oh, here we go. Boy. We got nothing again. Well, let's chop down this pine tree because we're going to need a pine seed. I only have three more onions left to kind of push me through. And no pine seeds again. I guess we should call it a day then. Um, I don't know. What do you guys... What do you guys think? I'm going to eat the rest of my onions. So I got some nasty, stanky onion breath, but that's okay. And I chop down this tree. Come on, give me seed, give me seed, give mama a seed. Oh, looks like we got one. Oh, no, that was sap. All right. Well, 275 is not bad. I was hoping to get to 300 tonight, but that's okay. It's already 11. We're out of energy. So I'm going to dump everything in here. Oh, we did get to 300. I forgot we had some in the chest. So perfect. Goal achieved. Putting all my tools and heading to bed. Um, this is usually where I would wrap up this episode. But since we're only at 19 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and play a second day. And that should give us another full episode. So we're going right into the next day. And we leveled up again. Level 2 foraging. That's um, it's pretty standard, I think, for how much work we were doing. So we get a plus one axe proficiency and a new cooking recipe called the Survival Burger, which just just between you and me, uh, I, I never get to make. Um, I always end up stopping or <laughs> starting over or something. But our foraging was way low today, which is fine because we can't buy anything anyway because day three of spring is Wednesday and the grocery store isn't even open on Wednesday. Uh, but let's go ahead and check the weather. And it's raining today, but tomorrow it's going to be sunny. 
So um, we're going to have to water all day tomorrow, but that's fine. Let's take advantage of not having to water today. And our spirits are in good humor. We'll have a little extra luck. Awesome. This is a perfect time to go and fish then. So let me grab my tools and check my mail. Dear Farmer Cammy, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's a it's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Now, um... I personally like the rundown little cottage, but that's okay. Um, we're definitely going to want to upgrade the house. I started walking that way, but I realized I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go down this way and see what we can forage. Um, usually on rainy days, the spring onions are in full bloom, I guess, in lack of a better word. Um, so let's go check them out as well as doing a full loop around the lake, saying that we don't have to spend any time watering this morning. We can go ahead and just uh, do a full lap around the lake if I can walk straight. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't looking at my screen. Okay, great. We're going to grab this. Got a dandelion. We should probably keep some of these before spring is over because we're going to need them to complete some quests. But for now, I'm just going to sell everything until I don't need to sell everything. <laughs> then I can start hoarding them for recipes and such. I started going the wrong way again. So don't listen to me, guys. I'm the worst. <laughs> and we're going to run down here. Make sure we didn't miss anything. This cute little abandoned shack is going to come into play later. And nothing on the island gonna cross this bridge and already I see a bunch of spring onions wow that's awesome we're gonna grab all of this and make sure there's nothing here okay there's two next to the sewer so these are gonna be the most pungent sewer onions um I'm still gonna eat it because energy energy is king <laughs> And I didn't see anything worth fishing right now. So I'm going to head down to the beach. And we're going to see if there's anything worth picking up in the tidal pool. Oh, I forgot. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a trip back to the farm. But we're not going to take the long way. We're just going to go straight up here. And head over this way. Hopefully we can find some things to forage. No, I don't see anything. Darn. I should have remembered to get the wood. Oh, well. We only lose maybe 20-ish minutes. So I'm going to grab the wood now and use this opportunity to dump some stuff into the shipping bin. And let's go to the beach. Alright, so um, I don't see anything on the message boards, so there's no quest that we can pick up. Um, oh, there's Mayor Lewis. Let's say hi. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Um, let's give our first gift to the mayor. Well, I guess it's the thought that counts. Oh, and he hated it. Wow. I guess he didn't like my my sewer onion. How ungrateful. I just really wanted that money, so... Sorry, sorry, Mayor. You said... He said to just give somebody a gift. All right, we picked up a couple of seashells, which is dope. I'm going to make this bridge now. Awesome. And there's a bunch of coral, you guys. Wow, we 
we made a lot of money today. I think these are like 50 each maybe. But, oh, and look at that. There's two worms. So, oh, whoops. Ah, uh, all right. Maybe there's an artifact. Ah, uh, it's a book. That's okay. I'm glad it's not an artifact because that would have just taken up room in our inventory, which, as you can see, we're filling up pretty quickly. Let's talk to this guy. He says, I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, miss. Okay, then I guess not. And so I'm going to start fishing uh, as best as I can before I don't have any room. And so just a reminder to everybody who didn't bother watching my introduction video, which is linked in the video description below. I am playing on a PC with no mods and I use my keyboard and mouse, but I also use my Xbox controller, which is why right now you're seeing um, an X button on the screen. I just don't want to confuse anybody, but I like playing with my controller for this because it's just, um, I don't know, it just uh, feels better. Now, I can't keep fishing because I don't want to lose any of my stuff, so I'm going to run back to the farm. I'm going to dump all these into the shipping bin, and we can continue fishing maybe... Uh, let's check out the north side of the lake and see if there's anything else we can forage. <gasps> it's, you guys, it's Sebastian. What am I going to do today? Probably nothing. Oh, well, he's a conversationalist, isn't he? Okay, heading back to the farm. We got a bunch of good stuff, mostly seashells and a fish, and we got some spring onions, which I will hold on to just in case. Uh, we run out of energy and I end up needing it, but so far we had a pretty good haul. Uh, I'm gonna quickly run up and around. So we're gonna go through the north entrance or exit um, to the farm. And we're going to see what we can find. So there's this. And I think you can shake the trees. Yep, perfect. So the trees can be shook. The trees got shook. And I guess there's only one seed. Can't try my luck all the time. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's not a tree I can shake. I just tried shaking the tree just out of, like, I don't know, curiosity. I don't know. I was just running an autopilot. And we're going to go ahead and try fishing, try our hand fishing here, and see what we can catch. Yep, oh, there we go. I was going to say, this is usually the boring part of fishing, but this is a great way to make some money early on in game. You just got to grind and get oh wow bullhead fish hopefully that's um that's a that's good uh let me i'll check the price later um i will link in my video description the resources that i use when i play uh this game so that you guys uh can use them yourselves if you have questions or all right so we got chub i don't think a chub is worth that much either I found that the harder it is to catch the fish, the more expensive the fish turns out to be once you catch it. Oh, great. Algae. You can actually eat that. Um, and, wow. And glasses. Okay, great. You can eat the glasses. But you can eat the algae for a little bit of energy. The glasses and other kinds of junk that you fish can be used for uh, recycling purposes. And you recycle them into other resources that you can use to craft more advanced um, things. So we're doing pretty good. I'm getting a lot of stuff from fishing in this little lake here. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with this spot and it's not too far away from the house. So we can sh sit here and set up camp for a long time until it's time to go home. Oh, wow. There we go. A carp. So I'm actually going to go check how much that carp is worth. Um, let's go to my browser here and tab over to the Stardew Valley Wiki 
um, check out carp um, carp looks like it's worth um, 30 gold base price and it looks like we got a regular a regular carp so that's pretty good um, at least I, I don't know I think 30 gold is good it's pretty decent This is the time um, of the game, like when I'm fishing, that I get really sleepy. So when I used to play this on my Switch, and my husband and I would just be chilling in bed and getting ready to go to sleep, I would always get really, really sleepy when fishing. Because it's just... Oh, I probably shouldn't have cast that. Um, let me just... Let me quickly eat something. Just so I have some space in my inventory, and we can keep fishing I'd love to buy that backpack pretty soon um, more room in the inventory would be great but I'm not sure if I want to go for a backpack upgrade or oh look the bubbles that I was talking about okay so I've heard and I, I assume that if you land wow um, it just all right it, it just disappeared. All right, then, never mind. <laughs> I don't know how long those bubbles were there for, but it seemed really short. Anyway, if you land your fishing bubble, bubble thing into that, you get more of a chance to catch fish. So that's all right. I don't know if it means that it's a rare fish. I think it just means that you get more chances to catch fish so you don't have to wait as long for uh, a fish to snag the line. Oh gosh, sorry, I have to stop talking because this is like super annoying. Alright, got another chub. We still have one more spot in our inventory. And I'm just going to keep doing this until we fill it up. And when I go back to the farm, I'm going to just use the rest of my energy to um, clear out some more of the field and get some, uh, some spots ready for more crops. That was new. Oh, it's another carp. Okay, we can still keep going. And now we can't. All right, so inventory's full. Let's go ahead and head back home. Um, I'm wondering if we can give Linus a fish or if he would appreciate that. Let's see, which of these fishes should we give him? Does he like fish? Actually, let's check. I don't want to keep giving people what they don't like. So I'm going to go back to the Stardew Valley Wiki. And I'm going to just double check what Linus likes. And Linus... Um, looks like um, a neutral gift will be all fish except carp and snail. So it's a good thing I checked. Uh, let's go back to the game. And make sure we give him, let's give him a normal chub. Let's see what he says. A gift? How nice. Awesome. We're friends now. Let me see what he says. A warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. Oh, poor guy. He, uh, he takes his showers in the rain. Actually, that doesn't sound too bad. That sounds pretty, pretty refreshing, actually. Okay, so we have foraged pretty much all day we oh what's in here i forgot what's in oh wait this is like okay this is a cave that we use later on so i'm gonna go down here go to my shipping bin and we're gonna dump all of this so we have that um a lot of fish and we're going to keep all these things in the box. Now, I usually organize these, but right now it doesn't really matter how we organize it. So it's okay that things are a little bit messy. But just know that deep down it's bothering me that nothing is organized. All right, so we're going to clear this area of the field because this is where we're going to do our next expansion of our farm. And we're going to knock some of these stones Oh, good. It's good that we're getting coal because uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do is build a scarecrow so our crops are protected from crows. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and chop this stump. I left it the other day when I was just trying to get enough logs for that bridge. So it's a little bit easier to clear out just the stump. You don't have to go through, I don't know, the 10 extra hits that it takes to knock down an entire tree. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, let, yeah, I guess let's cut this tree down, too. And I wonder how you can harvest this. Can I use this? Yeah, there you go. Ooh, a maple seed. Awesome. I think, um, I think that gives us enough ingredients for a, another field snack. Now, I'm not sure how much money we're going to have. Two, three, four, five, six. But let's get this prepared anyway. As if we're going to have enough for um, some potatoes and beans. I don't think so, but um, you never know. And we can dump all these materials here. And yeah, let's, uh, let's see. It's 9 o'clock. Um, there's nothing much else we can do. So I'm going to just keep clearing the field. That way I don't have to do it later. And the first thing I'm going to do is expand all the way to here, according to the plans that I made. All right. And we're going to chop these up. And I'm exhausted. I don't want to waste any food trying to gain any energy because we're pretty much wrapped up for the day. So I'm going to go ahead and throw all these into my bin and get ready for bed. And that concludes day two and three of the series. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. I just want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. So stay tuned. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, both on Twitch or YouTube, go ahead and do so. I'm hoping to spend the next two weeks trying to play through this and finally get something, something finished on my channel. And um, yeah, it was great. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.